Okay, we're subtracting more polynomials. All right, again, all that means is we're subtracting poly many, many different numbers, many different terms. And I'm going to do this one a little bit faster than the past two because now you've seen how some of these are solved. And um, try to listen along, pause it when you need to. But I'm going to solve this and I'll, I'll try it two different ways as if I was just solving it for myself. All right, so what do we have here? I'm talking to myself, right? We're subtracting. Okay. So I notice in the first polynomial, the terms are out of order. I see these powers. I really want them going from biggest to smallest. So I'm going to reorder them. I see one negative sign here. We remember that's plus or minus. So now I have all addition. And over here, I have plus or minus. Okay. So all I do is switch subtraction to addition so I can think more clearly about the commutative property. In the first polynomial, I see it starts at z to the sixth. Then we have 8z to the fifth. Then I don't see a fourth. Now, in the last video, I did write 0z. I would write, talked about writing 0z to the fourth. In this case, I'm not going to do that because we have too many different places or powers. All right, so I'm going to keep going, and you'll see how that works out. We have uh, we'll x them off as we go, sixth, fifth. I don't see a fourth. I see a third. So plus 17z to the third. And then I see a squared, so negative 9z squared. I could write plus negative 9z squared, but I don't need to. And then plus just z. Now, I know I'm subtracting, so I'm going to subtract my second polynomial. And I do see a 10z to the sixth. But I don't see a fifth, and I don't see a fourth. I do see a third. Okay. And then I do see... I don't see a second, but I do see the first power. This really means z to the first. And that's just going to be negative 26z. And now I subtract. I like stacking it this way, but I'll show it both ways that are most common. Uh, first, we subtract the six powers. We have one group of z to the sixth, and then we're taking 10 away. That's going to be negative nine groups of z to the sixth. Then we have, what do we have next? We have 17 groups of z cubed, and we're taking 11 away. That's going to give us six groups of z cubed. And then, okay, okay, circle the next one. We have negative nine groups of z squared. We're not taking anything away. So that's still just negative nine, nine times z squared. And there's a plus here, so positive. And then finally, we have z. And then we're taking away negative 26 groups. So it's one minus negative 26. And remember, one minus negative 26 is really one plus 26. And if you have questions about that, just let me know and I'll get back to you. It's really 27. And that's our answer. Now, in the last video, again, I, I put those placeholders in zeros. In this case, I knew I didn't need to do that because anything that the second polynomial had uh, was also included in the first already. So for example, if the second polynomial had a term like 5z to the seventh, it would be confusing. Like, where would I place it here? So if I notice that there are, if that's happening, I would add a 0z to the 7th here in the front, and then I have a spot to subtract that down below. So that can help you out a lot. Let me just undo that. Now, if you don't like this format, let me show you the other most common one I'm familiar with. Um, what you'll see is, and you know what, I'll just do another problem so you can see them side by side. Um, another common approach, this is, I believe, number 4. You have, let's say, a first polynomial, negative 10y plus 2 minus y cubed minus y to the fourth. And you're subtracting negative y to the fourth minus 10y minus y squared. So the other common approach, as I showed in the first video, is to first distribute subtraction to each term in here. And what that allows you to do, you could rewrite the first polynomial. You do not need those parentheses at all. I'm just going to rewrite it. And then you subtract negative y to the fourth is really plus y to the fourth. You subtract negative 10y is really plus 10y. And finally, you subtract negative y squared is really plus y squared. Now you can kind of go through, and I'm going to, I, I would, you can use color, but also kind of underline, like I see y to the first, negative 10y, and positive 10y. Those cancel, so I'm just going to x them. Because at this point, what you're really doing is adding all the terms. And what am I talking about? Well, once you distribute the subtraction sign here to all the terms, um, 
you're basically applying the subtraction already and you don't need to think about it again. You've already applied it. So now you're just adding or combining terms and some people like that because here you can see those opposites cancel. And we have negative y to the third, so I'm gonna write it as plus negative y. And now I can think more clearly about reordering everything. We have y cubed, uh, negative y cubed, plus y squared, plus two. And that's your answer. One thing I would say about these problems that I don't see popping up is, and this could happen, you might have something in here that needs to be simplified even before you start. So um, as an example, so scan ahead, look at the other problems, see if they have anything like that. No, I don't see it yet, but uh, I'll show you an example right here. Let's say you had this, 10x plus 12x um, squared, and then minus, let's say, x plus x squared minus 5x. Notice this is different. Um, and you could do the same strategy as before. It won't lead you wrong. But you have two terms here and a single polynomial that can be combined. So look out for that. In this case, that would that would give you what? 1x minus 5x's or plus a negative 5x. That's negative 4x. And then here you have an x squared. So you want to simplify first before you subtract. That's that's something that might come up, although I don't see it in these problems. All right, so that is number three and four. Uh, let me let me scroll to the very end here, looking at the last problem. Okay, I'll finish. Uh, you know what? I'll just do number five next, and then what you should do is try the rest on your own. They're all the same. Decide what strategy you wanna wanna use, and obviously you can ask any questions you might have. So let's try one more together. Let's just try number five. So number five looks like this. It says 7u cubed, and we're subtracting polynomials, minus 10, minus u, plus 19u squared. Minus negative 10, minus 4u to the fourth, plus 7u cubed, minus u. All right. So this one, again, I'll try that second strategy I just showed you. I'm going to rewrite the first polynomial exactly as it is. And I can I don't need the parentheses around it because I can think that there's a 1 kind of in the front. I'm just distributing that to each term. And 1s don't change anything. That's just another way of thinking about it. The second one, though, we get all the opposite signs. I'm just going to flip them real quick. All the opposites. Make sure I have everything right. Because what I'm doing is subtracting all those terms. So when you subtract uh, a negative, it becomes positive. Positive. When you subtract a positive, it's like adding a negative, so it reverses. And then when you subtract a negative u, that's really positive u. Okay. So, okay, my iPad's telling me it has to update. Thank you. That's not helpful. Now we have all these terms, and we add them or combine them. So I have positive 7u cubed plus negative 7u cubed. Or you could think of it as seven groups of u cubed minus seven groups. And they cancel out either way. That's fun. You have one negative group of u and one positive group of u. They cancel out. You have 10 and subtract 10. Those cancel out. And finally, you have 19 groups of u squared and four groups of u to the fourth. So we'll write it in standard form with the largest power first. Four groups of u to the fourth plus 19 groups of u squared. So that was just kind of my brief overview of how to do these problems. And there's many other ways to think about it. If there's something here you didn't understand, just let me know. Thanks. Bye.